Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast. I'm David Braid, and this is my main man, Highlight Real Patrick Valdez. Um, and today's a special day, ladies and gentlemen, and we just want to really just commemorate Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. for his ultimate sacrifice and everything that he fought for um, and the legacy that he, uh, he left behind and the impact he has on, has on our society um, today. Uh, we thank him for, you know, fighting for equal rights and equal protections for not just black people, but for all people and just being, you know, a role model to um, young black men and showing us, you know, what leadership is and how to how to really execute out here and really make a difference. Um, go follow us on uh, YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast um, YouTube channel. Follow us on IG, Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast on IG. Come, It's lit over there. Come holler at us. We we know everything. We talking everything. I mean, we're getting a lot of support on there. So come holler at us over there. Uh, go download Anchor, the Anchor app right now. You can find us on there, the Talk Your Shit Sport, Sports Podcast. Find us on Spotify. Same thing. Spotify, we on Apple Podcasts. We, we, we really rocking. We're really putting it out. Um, and we're here really just to set the tone for the sports uh, community here in Boston um, and nationwide. So come rock with us. Um, and AP, we're here. We're gonna lock in. Listen, man, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of um, thing going on in the NBA, man. A lot of moving, moving parts, man. But the biggest, the biggest fish landed in Brooklyn, bro. Ooh. The biggest fish landed in Brooklyn. I've been telling everybody, man. James Harden to Brooklyn, D. What, what do you think about that? James Harden to Brooklyn, man. Uh, big win. I think they won two games. They, I think they lost one. Or they won two games, so they two and one. Um, he's, he's, I'm saying he had the triple double. Uh, so he's distributing the rock. So he's that offense. I think, you know, Steve Nash, the Dan Tony connection, um, and just with how versatile KD is, um, they're a problem. And, and, and what's mm-hmm. more surprising is like they have up their rebounding. So this, 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 this spark that James Harden has, has brought to them, even though a lot of guys went out, but a lot of guys are stepping up right now, like, especially like, you know, on the bench, um, it's really lit over there. So, I'm 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 like yo Giannis. I think Giannis might be sh- a little shook. P. I think I think he might be a little shook. Yeah, we we, we spoke about it uh, in our prior episode that he signed all that um he signed for all that money to lose. Now he has a huge roadblock. KD is back. Brooklyn's no is they're no slouch. They they're a team to be reckoned with. And one thing that you um said that I definitely like and I definitely didn't um didn't pick up. Dan Tony is on that staff. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot all about that. So that him and him and um Harden, that connection is definitely gonna help him um, you know, transition into Brooklyn with this team. I mean, him, listen, you have K D that he he's looking good. He's looking good. Um the team I think is gonna get better, you know, obviously getting from getting comfortable playing with one another. Um, DeAndre Jordan, he's starting to look um, like a little bit like DeAndre of old. Ooh, Clippers DeAndre, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was physical. He was on the boards. So, he was so putting them he, back. He was a presence. Yeah. So now he he's he's anchoring that defense. I mean, because that's what he's known for, and that's what they need him. You know, it's defense and you know, for them lobs. But yeah, I, I told everybody if you watch my hot take this week, I, I'm telling everybody that they're making it to the finals, and they might. They they not they're not might they're gonna win the NBA finals. Mm. If everybody stays healthy, they're winning the NBA finals. Wow. Ah oh, man, like that's that's amazing. Like right now, since the trade, they've they've won three in a row. Listen, so they, so like they I either they're put they're putting together something special. Um right. because uh just like talk to the people, P like have you ever been on a team either the first year or like or like a mid like middle of the season? Uh, like you just got an influx of players or there was like one player who just, just got on the team and like there was just immediate impact, like things started to click. Everyone was either like, either like move to their right position. People understood their roles a little bit more. Talk to the people about like one of your experiences like that. I would have to say one of immediate impact was when you, JB, Benji got into, you know, to Charleston that, that freshman year um, because it allowed me to play, you know, my natural position would have center field. You was playing, you was behind, you know, the plate. JB was at second. Uh-huh. Benji was you know, Benji was either pitching or playing, uh, I believe it was shortstop, or he was playing in the middle in the infield. But 
that impact and, and, and other players, because we had other freshmen that stepped up and, and played on the varsity squad and it was, you know, definitely contributing that led us to the um, state tournament. And um, I, I want to say that team right there, I seen that immediate impact because we all was, everybody was clicking, even though we didn't have the pitching, that, that was the thing that kind of hurt us throughout the season because we relied on Benji and Kumba a little too much. And those, I mean, obviously when you play in a, a season, you need more arms. When you only have two arms and that's actually, you know, shutting shit down and then you have your three other starters that are kind of mediocre, it's kind of hard to win games, especially big games. So, yeah, man, I, I think that team right there. Like, uh, so with this, you know, with this trade, like, how do you feel about, like, the agency and the urgency that more players – in the NBA and now in even in the NFL are taking in terms of dictating their own futures. You yeah, know, we saw LeBron do it, you know, and ever since then, each year, you know, I mean, there's always someone who's up for a mass extension or, 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 or is just finds themselves in a, in, in a situation while they're in their problem where they're not winning. So like, how do you feel about that? Like cats is really like, yo, no, this ain't, this ain't going the way I want it to go. I'm out of here. Here's my reasons. I stand on it. Here's my price. Boom. Like, what do you think about that? Listen, I'm all for it. At first when LeBron did it, I was like, uh, I, you know, he's, he's not, he's not taking the Jordan win. Cause obviously I grew up in an era where I seen Jordan, you know, play with the Bulls. I seen AI, I seen Kobe play with the same team. And that's when you was a fan of a team and a fan of a player. Now these um these top players, they're taking control of their careers because now they realize that the minute that you're not that LeBron, the minute that you're not that Allen Iverson or Kobe Bryant, they're going to ship you out. No if ands, or buts. They're going to trick because uh, some of these players, I mean, I hear stories. I was watching um Brandon, Marshall, Brandon Marshall's um podcast i am an athlete definitely check it out db whenever you get the chance and he was talking about how he found out when that he got traded on twitter you know what i'm saying so it's like that's not right if you're gonna do stuff like that instead of just i mean you should reach out to the player that you you know entrust and gave the key to your franchise that that franchise player should never find out that he's getting traded on twitter like give that man a call like these organization don't really care about these players like that. It's all about what are you doing for me lately? And if you're not performing for them lately, they're going to ship you out. But as a athlete right now, take control of your future, take control of your destination. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, you can't, you can't put trust in these organizations because they're going to ship you out. They're going to, the minute you get hurt, they're going to, they're going to draft a player to replace you. Like, every year they're replacing you. Like, every, I mean, believe it or not, there's a draft every year. Every year. <laughs> there's a draft every single year. Somebody's coming for your job. Somebody's coming for your job. Somebody's coming for you. I.e., um, Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's real. So, you know, do you think, you know, like, I'm all for it as well. You know, I feel like I've been saying this, like, you know, players have to be their own, their own GMs, um, you know, to get rings. Um, I think we saw it with KD. It was starting to get scary. It was like, yo, will, will this combination of him and Westbrook um, in OKC work? Can they win a championship? And we just started seeing like, it just nothing's guaranteed, even with all that, you know, uh, all that talent that they had with Abaka and Harden and, 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 and um, KD and Westbrook and, and, and just, uh, you know, a plethora of guys that have gone in there. It's just, it's like, how long do you get that a chance while I'm uh, probably arguably, you know, top two best player ever. So mm-hmm. like, you know, I think more, it's more, you know, just, you know, as a black man, like you just, you want to have your career and live on your own terms. Right. And I, and not, right. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Cause at the end of the day, you have to feel good about yourself. Right. You, know I mean? you want to say like, you want to be proud of what you're producing out here and, and how that makes you feel in the life that you be, you're able to create for the year you know, um, know your community and all your loved ones. So at the end of the day, um, I'm all for it. I think, um, you know, these players should can always can always and continue to put pressure on these organizations and in these front offices and making sure that's an inclusive relationship, you know, right. on, on who's going out because there has to be um, 
organizational culture in, in, in order to, you know, really push forward and, um, in winning, you know, and ultimately everyone wants to win and, organ and organizations have to, you know, build um, a great nucleus. And that starts with just a great relationship with ownership and, and, and the players. Right. I mean, cause you, you look at, you know, KG back in the days, he wasted mm -hmm. a lot of years. Yeah. Ten a plus lot seasons. of his good years yeah. in Minnesota. In Minnesota, like this he should man, have at least, he should have at least three or four rings. Like, come should. on. Yeah. Like, and, and then you look at his counterpart, the guy that he was going to war with all the time was Tim Duncan. Mm -hmm. Tim Duncan got five of them things. Five of them things. He got that gold eye. Ah, he's strong with it. Uh, pick up low. your weight. Pick up your weight. I'm one of the greats. You know what I mean? Like, and you can't argue that. And and KG is a talent. He's talented enough to be in that same room with him, but he only got one ring because he's, mm -hmm. he was loyal. Yeah. He was loyal for what? Because at the end of the day, the like, I'm pretty well, sure when he, for what? I mean, I mean, you can't really say for what because, I mean, it's it's just like depending on where you come from. If your values align, you gonna ride with whoever you're riding with. And unfortunately, I think they got to the Western Conference like once or twice, but they usually lost in like the second round. So it was it was a t it was a tough to uh, you know you know because his best years was uh, uh, San Antonio and in the Lakers that he had to get through. And, and, and like at, at that point, nobody's beating those two. So right. it, it was, it was, it was definitely tough on him. Um, but him being, you know, from Chicago and South Carolina and, you know, family, every, you know, family over everything, gang, 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 you know what I mean? So. But D, <laughs> you, you can't tell me that you didn't lace him up and you didn't dream as a kid as, as you know, whether it was football, baseball, mm -hmm. hitting that, that buzzer beater at the finals mm -hmm. and winning that chip. You don't lace him up just to lace him up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you you don't play this game just to play the game. You do, Especially when you make it to the top of your profession as an athlete, to the NBA. If you're in the NBA, you, you, you're lacing them up to win an NBA championship. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't lace them up to just, you know, be good and just, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Mm. So, do you, uh, oh, I'm, just, I, I'm glad you brought that up because, uh, you know, just something that I thought of was like, you know, and you saying that, does that say that KD realized? I mean, KG realized too late that he needs. He did. That he needs a um, you know, a cast of players. Like he he can't carry this team regardless of what the organization is doing. Doing he can't. I mean, he what he's doing isn't enough. Even though he did a lot, but it wasn't enough. So like, did he realize a couple years too late? Like yo, I I, I need to step back inst instead of trying to be the uh, uh the main guy. You know, and, and flourish and average twenty five fifteen. Maybe I need to just average 20, 20 and 20, you know what I mean, and let another guy, you know, take advantage and get more buckets at his position. So I think a lot of players, you know, you know, especially young stars, battle that in the beginning right. of their careers. Um, so I think it goes both ways, man. No, but what they, what they, I think what that organization messed up at to begin with was with that whole Stephon Marbury not, you know, giving him the money when, you know, mm. When they was team, when they was teammates, and these guys grew up yep. playing together in in AAU, and they were good friends. You know what I mean? And then when you allow him to walk out, they're both feeling some type of way, like damn. Yeah. Like I thought, I thought this was supposed to be, um, you know, the big man, little man, until until we got got the ring. Yeah, I think they sent him to New York, I, I think, or, or I think it was New the Suns. Okay. I think it was the Suns. I think it was the Suns. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that it started from there, and and I feel like he realized that, like you said, a little too late, and that's why he was open for that trade. Mm -hmm. Because they, you can't give me a a, a, a washed. I don't want to say he was washed up, but uh, he wasn't the the um, Spreewell of New York. Yeah, you know I mean, you, you bring Spreewell. Um, who else they brought over there? Wally Zerbiak. Wally. And, Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell was, you know, Sammy was older. a bucket though. Sammy he was, was a bucket, bucket, but he, he was dealing with the he back. Was a two point king. You know what I mean? Yeah, get you get the elbow deep. off the screen. Ha! Pull up. Hold that. His right. his, his fifteen of those. Oh oh, but Sam was physical too because he'll throw you in the post. Ah, he'll throw you in the post. Him. But he was yeah, also Sam hurt. Was he was also hurt. So it's like these guys are not going to win me. Or help me get past the Lakers. He's they're not gonna help me get past the um the Blazers. They're not gonna help me get past the uh the Spurs at the time because these were the, the the top team that on in the um in the West at the time. So it's kind of hard to and and that's why I'm more for the athlete 
saying, yo, I want to, I'm trying to get a ring. And there's nothing wrong with that because as an athlete, or if you don't have a ring, you're not the the, the top, you're not the, the best player in, in, in your sport. Like you can't, you can't, if you look at baseball, you can't knock Derek Jeter and be like, yo, Derek Jeter's not nice. He got, he got them rings. He got them rings. He was smart too. He was smart. Right. He got yeah. them rings. Smart too, but nah, he was definitely clutch, man. Um, so in that same vein, you know, what do you, as the Nets are on their three game, you know, winning streak, where does, you know, Kyrie's missed his seventh game. He's coming back. How, how is that? Do you envision this working? Like, how do you feel about? I right, cool. Yeah. I, 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 I'm honestly excited about seeing this, this, this three-headed monster all on the floor together. Listen, and half and see what this, you know, see what happens. So, what you think? Yeah, this is it's gonna be a team to be a, because I feel like they're really gonna be all in. Mm. Yeah, they're all in because James. Because there's a reason why Harden said I want to go to Brooklyn and made that his first choice. And he's not gonna make that. He's not gonna make that request if he haven't. If he didn't talk to KD and Kyrie, mm-hmm. like them boys. Them boys are probably they was out. I'm pretty. I think they was out in LA at the time. They during the off season all hooping. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure they put the bug in his ear like, "Yo, come to Brooklyn. What are you guys doing over there in Houston? Like, come. To, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not winning. You're not winning. So why not? So that's why he made that request. Came overweight." You know, chilling, <laughs> chilling with the baby and the rappers, giving out, giving out <laughs> mad money. He gave, <laughs> gave the baby like a hundred, a hundred thousand, like just, mm. just chilling, like you know what I mean. Mm. But um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, uh, like you know, you know, uh, he obviously didn't play tonight, and like the they're on right now. They're playing um uh, the Bucks and uh, the Nets yeah. up uh, 72-67 right now. So, um I'm definitely interested, in, you know, seeing this play out. This is going to be, you know, I mean, this is this can be legendary. This is almost like, you know, you know how legendary, you know, LeBron, you know, went to um uh, uh Miami and how yeah. um you know, and, and then how he went back to Cleveland and and, and then, you know, all these all these big moves like it how how KD left OKC and, and joined um uh, other warriors. So like, this is, this is really major, man. And I'm, 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 I'm just loving how the NBA is unfolding, you know, oh, yeah. during our generation, bro. And it's, right, it's, right, it's right, so right. lit. It's so lit right now. You know? Listen, so who, who do you have in that, in, uh, in that, uh, in that rematch, man? Cause they're going to, I'm telling you, they're going to meet up in the finals. And like I said, KD is LeBron's kryptonite. Man. Is, is, but I mean, but but I mean we can't really say that because because Jimmy, like he, he he also LeBron didn't also have you know other three Hall of Famers with him at that elite level in their primes to say yo here's my five versus your best five come on listen when when I mean, OKC, when OKC met them in the finals and got the ass bust, he, he that boy didn't make no excuses. Now 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 the revolt the 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 um, roles of a uh, reverse. Now you got you got to step up. How, you how, how was it reversed? How? Because, what do you mean? I mean you are talking about he joined when it, Steph, the Splash Brothers, and KD. And, and listen, and, when and, you had Bosch and because Draymond is going to be the Hall of Famer. Um, you, so so that's 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 four that's when you four had, when bodies, you had Bosch, when four Hall of Fame bodies. When you had Bosch and Kit, and when you had Bosch and D Wade, you know these guys was the top, the the creme of the creme, the top, the top. They was top ten. Mm. And now KD's coming through like yo, I have top ten players. What up? <laughs> and you got AD. So what's good? <laughs> I mean, now, now, now it'd be a different story. But like up until this point, LeBron, uh, you know, hasn't had this because, because, because right now, Dennis Schroeder is 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 have is, is is really you know making an offense go, and he's freeing up, he's freeing up Kuz, he's freeing up AD, um, he's freeing up LeBron. They're playing defense. LeBron doesn't have to uh, log in all these minutes. Uh, no, I, I, I like that. I like that pickup. You know I mean, he's he's just ultra. You know, I mean, he's comfortable. It's a good situation. And uh, don't forget that st- that um, that coaching staff is loaded, man. You know Frank Vogel um, um, and Jason Kidd. Kidd so yeah, yeah. so it's, it's it's just like they got a lot over there, man. And I'm just excited. Just like this greatness is, is unmatched, bro. Like we're really. I mean, I just pay homage to watching it, man. But um, this definitely. I think you know LeBron. I think at, at the trade deadline or or during the the buyouts, whenever that starts happening, 
you know, they're gonna make some moves. So I'm, I'm, I'm what, do, what do you think they need? What do you think they need though? Oh, they need a shooter. They need a shooter. I, yeah, I was, I was um, gonna say that. I think they need another shooter. The, the, and they just need one dude who just who just wants some who just wants to rebound mm-hmm. on both ends. Just one dude. Just hey, hey, I'm a I'm a I just I'm a rebound specialist. Mm-hmm. He's a mm-hmm. specialist. Just like hey, go get those balls like a Rodman type. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. like just go. You know what I mean, just get like just get down and get physical because because they're gonna need extra possessions. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. they're not a squad that can just you know go go possession for possession. And I don't think LeBron wants to do that. You know, add. Right. You know, as you know, as you know, he's 36, so I don't think he wants to continue doing that. So, like, right, 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 right. To either space it out and get get these guys easy buckets. So, I what I'm seeing is like I I love um, pause, but like I'm really like I I had Googled his weight from the last five years on what he weighs now. So like he's he's really managing his weight to like put all these miles. So he's in like really good shape. I think he puts in like two or three million a year on his body. So Bro. he's really going after it right now. So I'm saying, like, in order for him to either just, just like scale it back, because like we don't want him to get hurt, man. As you get older, I mean, even though like your body just doesn't stay strong for that that amount of period of time, you know, right, even, right. even though like he's an anomaly. I mean, he's a he's a freaking agent. He's from Wakanda. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so and and that's and that's a guy that he and I respect him because. There's no load management in him, bro. He he's real old school. He's logging in those minutes, like you said, and he's he's 36. Mm-hmm. And and that's why and that's why I love like seeing greatness against greatness because yeah. KD's great in, in 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 his own right. You know what I'm saying? One of oh, the man. I I, I, I was you know me. I'm, a, I'm a, that's seven feet. You can't teach seven feet. Can't what teach he does that. with the can't ball. Teach oh, the dude, the dude got it. Can't teach that. The dude got it. Oh man, like, he's smooth, dude. Just like take that. Just take mm-hmm. that, and and, and 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 my thing is like you know I'm a I was um and I'm still am a Carmelo fan. I thought when Carmelo came in the league, I thought he was the the, the his offense. He was my he was killing cats offensively. Like he was his offensive mm-hmm. package was ridiculous. Yeah. Then came KD, yeah. his like he then took that over to the tenth power. Like offensively, there's nobody touching him, and it's like it's special to see, like you said, a seven footer with that type of handle, that jump shot can get to the bucket, can cross you in front of your mother, and 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 you know, and just make the shot, dunk on you, and he's starting to pass the ball better. Um, and then you have LeBron on the other end. Like, listen, man, we'll we'll probably won't ever see a a player of that magnitude mm. for, for I, th- I don't think in any sport, like, cause all across the board that, <laughs> you know what I mean? There you can't, I, we won't see like, listen, we have to appreciate LeBron for what he is and what he's done for the NBA and um, appreciate his presence. I mean, cause you know, there's a whole bunch of LeBron hater. I'm, I, 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 pre- I love LeBron. The, the, um, on and off the court. I mean, cause he's, he, he's, I mean, I grew to like him. I grew to mm-hmm. like him. But like I said, I was a Carmelo fan, but the man, you gotta, you gotta respect what he's done right. for the NBA, man. So right now, you know, you know, speaking, speaking on, on, on how that talent works right now, I know we talked about, you mean, I'm saying your man, like a score, or just who do who's just scoring right now, your man, Zach Levine in Chicago right now, he's averaging 27. So like, you know, he's, he's really getting after a P I mean, and, and he's developed ever since he's ever, ever since he's got to Chicago, you know, his first year, he averaged uh, 17 points, second year, 24, uh, third year, last year, he balled out. He averaged um, 25 this year, right now he's averaging 27. So P you mean Zach Levine is really getting buckets out here. And I mean, I'm pretty sure our follow has been, been, you know, follow, if you follow some IG and, and, and um, and you've seen us campaigning for this guy because mm-hmm. this guy's a bucket. When and we're not just, Actuals. you know, we're not just campaigning because listen, this guy he can play basketball. Like you said, he's developed so much. Like his offensive package is, is there. He can shoot the ball. He can drive to the to the basket because he's no longer a, just a dunker. Mm-hmm. He he could, he could do that for shits and giggles if he wants to. <laughs> the boy <laughs> you know can I mean? leap. The boy can leap you know out of I mean? the building, for Listen, sure. He can put you on a post if he wants to. Oh, man. Him and, when him and Gordon went at it? Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my Crazy. God. Crazy. Legendary, P. Yeah, no, <laughs> Legendary. I remember where yeah. I was at. I was why I had some fried chicken in my hand, P. <laughs> I, was I was like, oh. Listen, I have, 
the Vince Carter is my first, you know, favorite dunk competition. And then the second is Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon, you know, and that man, like, I, I want a contender to trade for him. I mean, I don't know contractually if they can do it because he probably, because I think he re-signed with the Bulls probably like a year or two ago and that can, contract could be big. But I, I just want to see a contender pick him up because that's a talent that needs to be on a, on a, on a big screen where, where the lights are on bright like playing with a contender, not with, you know, a who team. Who you got in mind? Who you got in mind? I mean, I'm saying oh, you're talking, you you know talking that shit. So, like, who you got you know in mind? Where, 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 where the, are, are the good fits at? I was thinking him in Dallas. You pair okay. him up with Luca. Um, if you can keep um, – So, Luca, Levine, and Porzingis. And Porzingis. Okay. Luca at the one – um, Levine at the two, and then you have Porzingis. You can either play him at at the uh, four or five, whatever. He, he likes playing the four, so put him at four. But yeah, I can see him out there. I mean, if they can make that, if they can make that happen. But Zach Levine, Zach Levine, special man. Zach Levine, yeah, Zach, special. oh man. I mean, dog, no, he's he, he's upped his his game the last three years. You know, twenty three, twenty five. I mean, twenty seven. It's, it's just. It's lit. So, and, I mean, so, like, right now, you mean, you know, the West is so – I'm glad he's not in the West because I think we he would probably get overshadowed like um, like all the guys in the West, like uh, like the Aaron Fox. Like, I think he's getting overshadowed. I think he's doing an awesome job. But, I mean, I don't know what's going on. And I don't know, who, like, what the front office is like over there, man, because they got a lot of talent. It's just not, a, like, the fit. I mean, it's not a good right, fit. Right, 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 right. And for some reason, you know, they can't put the winning together because they got, you know, Harrison Bonds. I think Harrison Bonds is a great, you know, he's a he's a great role player. On right, the right, right, right. So, like, it's just like, oh, man, he shouldn't be over there either. And, um, you know, C.J. Bagley, I think he needs to be in a more um, structured offense, man. Um, I don't know what's going on with that cat. I thought, you know, when he did come out, I thought C.J. I thought um, Bagley, Bagley was about to be busy. I thought, right. I mean, because I, I I was thinking of him on on more so on like a Zion level, because I was like I saw this I saw the talent I saw how how he was dominating you know with his mm. size and he was a physical slender cat seven foot one slender cat but he will bang on you so I was feeling that but I mean it didn't, right. it but he's he's, he's been hurt he's been hurt you know these last couple of years and that that could be you know how something. you get hurt um I think he had um. Like little knickknack injury. I think he had um a back back injury or something like that. And needs something. I mean, don't quote me on that. But I know he's been hurt these last couple of years, and that's why he hasn't been on the floor um that much. But um yeah, that that team, like you said, they have a lot of talent, but it's just I don't know if all that talent is meshing together. Hmm. Because right. Aaron Fox, he he's a good point guard. He's you know he got the big bag this um this off season big and bag. um. 100K me, 150K me. Yeah, man. And he, he's I mean, good. I mean, 150 milli me. He, he's good. He's good. I, I, <laughs> a I, I, milli, I didn't a see... milli, a milli. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that coming out of college, but the guy, he he's improved. Just oh, out like... of Kentucky? Oh, you didn't see it when he buzzed no, off you the know, glass? You know, you know who I thought? You, you, know, you know who I thought was better than him who was going to be a better pro? Monk. Like, oh, Monk. no, Monk. no. Monk. This, yeah. this game is not versatile at all. Nah, He's like, nah. He ain't got no dog in him. I didn't nah. Yeah, that was your man's. Oh, that was, that was my god. That was my god. Yeah, was nah, he ain't have it, bro. He that he's uh god. I mean, yeah, you gotta hold his hand. He can't yeah. he can't yeah. leave the body. I, he he lost I, I think he's not even in rotation over in Charlotte. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But going back going back to Zach Levine and, and the reason why I, you know, have high hopes on him and, and I'm happy that he's doing, you know, the, the numbers that he's doing. Because he's he came out in that draft class, if you remember, it was um, Wiggins, it was um, um, Parker, it was it was a good Jabari. draft. Class. Yeah, Jabari. Ah, oh, I was Jabari. So, yeah, that was it, my guy. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna be it, but nah. Injuries, injuries. But um, that draft class was was pretty decent, and I and I you know and I think he is that he's the best player in that draft, and he's. I think he was drafted number five that year, if I'm not mistaken, to um, Minnesota. He was a top ten pick. He was definitely a lottery pick, and he he's better than everybody. Because you look at, you know, Wiggins, he's still trying to figure out his game. Mm-hmm. Um, Parker, Jabari, he's been he's been hurt. I think he's over in um, 
he's in Sacramento, but I, I don't know if he's getting any any minutes or anything like that. But um, yeah, that that boy Zach Levine, trade for him, man. NBA contenders, trade for my man. Trade for your man. Like, come on, <laughs> get him out of Chicago, free Zach. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you know, with let's uh, let's jump out west, man, with Portland. You know, speaking of trades, because uh, CJ's hurt. CJ's hurt now. Um, so we'll see what that injury does with him if he can get back and and get busy. Um, so they may be even, they may be in the trade market or the buyout market to really up their, upgrade their roster because I mean you're asking a lot of Dame and you're asking a lot of uh, a Carmelo, you know, to lead you through a 72 win season, uh, a 72 game season, um, and, yeah. and make a deep playoff run. So I mean they're definitely you know should be out on the lookout for players, man. And I think uh, you know and speaking of um, I'm wondering what the Suns are going to do because right now the Suns are sitting fourth in the West, mm-hmm. and um, and and that's you know that's not surprising because because on paper when they was going into the season with you know Booker, you know they well, their big three you know Booker, Paul, um, and Aiton. So you know I'm I'm definitely not surprised. But I'm like fourth. I'm like okay, that makes sense. Um, and then you know Pop is down there doing a hell of a job with the Spurs, man. Mm-hmm. You know so they may be you know looking to either add to or move. Or move Demar. Demar may go to a contender. You know, I mean, yeah, see, I, 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 I see how I, that would work. I don't think he's gonna be with um, the Spurs at the end of the season because I think Pop like the um, like he might happen at the trade. Might happen. Yeah, he he has a good young core that he likes a lot, and um, I can see him trading to get some more assets and stuff yeah. like that, some more younger pieces. But listen, Pop's doing some. He's doing some amazing coaching, yeah. bro. Yeah, he is. Like he. We got my guy down there, DeAndre uh, Murray. DeAndre Murray. He he likes him a lot. He mm-hmm. likes him a lot. Pop likes him a lot, and I like um, uh, what's the two guard that they have over there? Um, Lonnie Walker. He he he's good. Mm. He's just good. He he's he dunking on people left and right too. But yeah, that young that young core that um that's over there in Spurs. I I could see them building off that. Yeah, man, it's lit. It's lit. All right, peace. So like. Uh, I mean, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, we're going to take a quick break real quick. We're going to pay some bills, you know, get some water, you know, take a quick minute. And we're going to jump right back into it. Yes, sir. We are back, D. We're back, man. We are, we are back, P. Welcome back to another episode of Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast. We had to pay some bills. We thank you for rocking with us. We are super excited for... You know what's going on in the sports, bro. But we're just super excited to be here and rock out with you. Uh, so thank you for pulling up, everyone. Uh, you know tonight's a special night. Tonight's MLK Day, um, and you, we're going to continue to uphold his name and and really shout him out for all he did for us. So, uh, P, let's lock in, yo. Listen, some football, man. Some NFL football. It, it was listen. This weekend was <laughs> it was one of those weekends that it was hard to get off the couch, man. <laughs> it was hard to get off the couch. Um, we could. That uh, wow! I want to start off with Lamar, Lamar and the Bills, man. Ah, man, Lamar, another one, another L. But then again, I, I wasn't too surprised. Um, I bet, I bet my boy Abe, he stole thirty dollars from me. I think he had an wow. inside. <laughs> he, I think yeah, inside information, man. Hey, man, I should have told me I want to tax him a little more. <laughs> yeah, that that man, that man got me for thirty dollars, man. I want my money back, Abe. Wow. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. One, I, I think that that the Ravens need a number one, man. They need a like a real number one receiver because I, I I like Andrew, I like the tight end, and. And I like their um, Lamar and, and Andrews connection, but I think they need a, a real number one. Hollywood Brown's a good receiver, explosive, but then they need more pieces. They need to that offensive game. Like they need to be more um, Belichick like. It's too is like it's too predictable. Like mm. at times it was like, come on, bro. Like I I, I know I know what you're doing. <laughs> like I know. You compared that to to Belichick and what they did this year with Cam Newton? No, are you crazy? Not, I'm not talking. Okay, okay, not. Wow, not, not, did you just say not, that? Not, not this Belichick. The Pats were predictable with Cam not, all year. This, they I'm went up to Seattle about, with about the game Brady. on the line, and they could have won the game, and they run Cam on back to back quarterback sneaks. Wild, Wildcat, come on, come on, come on, Pete, that's trash. 
P, that's trash. Pete, that's trash. P, that's trash. You look like Brady. you sound like a guy who wears all all all, all black forces. <laughs> you get busy. That's what that's what that's what that tells me. That means I need to cross the street when you say something. When you make arguments <laughs> like that, P. Come on, wow. No, nah, wow. I, I just think I just think that. That offense over there, they, they need to really sit down, game plan a little bit more because the Bills was prepared, man. The yeah, Bills Sean McDermott were, and the boys were prepared. That defense was flying around. But the, the, everywhere. The, 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 the game plan for Baltimore. So I'm, 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 putting this, I'm putting this L on the coaches. You have to. I'm putting this L on the coaches. You you have to. Don't get me wrong. You mean the players, Lamar still has to execute. Lamar threw pick six. That pick six really hurt him. That pick six he hurt got him down there, but he got him down there. You know, so they were moving the rock, and they finally got the chance. And then when we finally thought, it was like, all right, cool, Lamar's about to, I mean, they're about to put him in the position to succeed. And you know they're playing zone. They're not playing man, so he can run. Right. So, they, so they're going to keep everything in front of him. So you mean to tell me that's the best play you can draw up? That's the best play you can draw up for Lamar? To get a quick throw over the middle, come on! It was terrible. Come on, help me out here. Help me understand, because yeah. because because we look at you know what coaching does, you know, in Kansas City. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. What Andy Andy Reid did yesterday to win the game with Chad Henney. I mean, you put uh, a hill Henney. in the slot, you motion out the back to the, the flat on the opposite side. You take the linebacker Henney's now Henney knows and he knows uh, it's, man, it's man coverage all around. So he's taking down the play clock. And all, 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 and, and all um, um, Tyreek Hill did was win on the slam route, take right. a step in, boom, one, it was a one-yard route, boom, win the game. So that's coaching. Right. So like, both the, like, I agree with but you. But you don't, you, don't you don't see that in Baltimore. You don't see that Crazy. movement. You don't, you don't see – because you see it, you see yeah. it in, um, in Kansas City, and then you see it in, um, in um, Green Bay when they move in – Devontae Adams around and stuff like that. And it's like you don't see that in Baltimore. Mm. And then you have these – you had Sneed. Sneed was was killing them with the short catches, and there was nowhere to be found. Wow. Yeah, like – and I'm wondering, like, in terms of weapons, man, like, you know, Hollywood Brown, Sneed is just like Boykin. Like, what what happened to this passing game? Like, where – why wasn't it more, you know, multi-dimensional? Why couldn't, you know, more screens, you know, more right. more, more intermediate routes, you know, you have a Pro Bowl tight end who plays at an elite level. Him and right. Lamar have a great connection. What is going on there? Are, are you saying that you got figured out? And like, come on, you should be better than that. Um, and I think uh, you know Har- Harbaugh should be in the hot seat. You know that staff mm-hmm. should be in the hot seat. You put him on the hot seat. You have to. You have to because mm-hmm. because this is Le- this is Le- um, Lamar's, Lamar's third season. Third season, yeah. Going into his fourth season. You know, so like now we're talking. We have to start talking and negotiating for you know a max extension. Um, but w- without these playoff wins and the money that he's the money that he's going to ask for, that he's going to like, hey, this is the price. You mean that's going to be that's going to take a, a massive investment on their part, right? And the the fact that they just lost three three playoff games in a row, um, it's tough. It's tough to justify like, yo, is this a good fit? Are you able to? Uh, equip a staff to create, you know, a offensive a offensive structure and strategy to get us through a, a winning season and to, to, to and win a Super Bowl. And right, right now, it's just they're not good enough in the AFC. They're not. I mean, I, I just think that the Baltimore right now, they are a good regular season team. Like when when mm-hmm. you get that to the matter. Point, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. no. It, oh. and it doesn't matter. It doesn't huh. matter because it, it's all about it's the, the expectation. Right, it's, it's all about the wins in the playoff because you can you can get yourself into the playoff. That's all cool and dandy, you know, just like a Marvin Lewis. But once it gets to the, once it gets to the playoff, you have to win games. You have to learn how to strategize it and 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 be you know methodical with your offense and your defense. You can't just be just one dimensional and just be predictable because. Mm-hmm. Like you said, Andy Reid moving these players around and, and, and just making these plays left and right. And you can't just be so predictable. And and I just feel like, I mean, I, I don't know if I'll put him on the hot seat, but, yeah, they, they have to figure it out. Because in order for Lamar to develop and be a, a great quarterback and have longevity in the NFL – because he has I mean, a lot. Why not move on? What are you What are you waiting for? Like, why Why would you give him? So he's been. They won the Super Bowl back in 2012. So that's almost right. almost eight nine years ago. So right. like, what, like, 
what am I paying you for if 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 you're if you're if you if you're giving me almost eight seasons of losing? Like, come on, like this is like as an owner, I'm not I'm not okay with that. Right, I'm not okay with that. What you just said, so so so. I mean, it's like, can I get an Eric Bieniemy to get the most out of him? You know, mm-hmm. in, in this offense, because right now, you know, like we're seeing all these NFL jobs that were vacant. You know, I haven't heard his name yet. He's not. He's not. He's not getting. He's not getting these jobs. Detroit, um, Atlanta, um, Houston. Uh, um, so, like, what's going on here? You know I mean, it's it's it's, it's baffling. The Jags, wall, I'm saying the Jaguars, even though they hired Urban Meyer, and I think that was a good thing. So, so we definitely. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was. So, oh, it was. It's about to be no, lit. I believe thing, in bro. it. I believe in the vision. You believe in, in believe Urban in Meyer? I, whew, you don't? Hell it, no. Because the minute that they start losing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. The, the minute that they start. There, kid, huh? the resume is there. He's won 90% of his games at, at Florida, at yeah. Utah. Uh, come on, I got more at Ohio State. Come on, he's won championships. Listen, that's he got hardware. He got gold. He got that's gold, easy. baby. He's strong with Listen, it. That's easy when you're recruiting five stars recruits. Okay, you're, not, you're in the NFL. You, come on now. You're, you're never recruiting you five stars. You, you, you get Trevor Lawrence, and then you got to figure this shit out after that. He doesn't got, know how to figure shit out. They got mad picks. They got mad picks. They got, but then they got like 12 picks, and they got like $100 million in cap space. So right now, it's lit. It's a great situation to, to build from scratch and be like, all right. Well, it is. Here. It is. For for the organization, yes. But I don't think Urban Miles was the best coach to hire. Because the minute that okay. they start losing, the minute that they start losing, he's going to feel sick. I don't know if I can coach anymore. I don't know if I can do the center so felt thing anymore. Okay. Like, no. Miss me with that shit, man. Oh, oh. So there's a man – Wow! Wow! Here, you're really me with, with that. this, man. I'm like, you know, a man can have illnesses. A man can't be. Uh, he can't can be healthy. Him, Come it's on. funny. He's it's what? It's funny that he's, when you have he's illnesses, won everywhere he's, he's been, P. So how are you discounting that? Oh, he gets sick. I mean, nobody wants to lose, but like, if you're putting that much into it, and you, your heart is stressed from losing. You're almost having heart attacks. I'm not. I, I'm not excusing coaching. it. You I'm not excusing it. But you're saying that's. But you're saying it's a bad situation for them to hire the, the uh, yes, all-time, all-time Hall of Fame winningest college coach. Go, you uh, the, you compared to the guys Kansas that are getting City. jobs here, you know, special you teams, the City, man. Assistants, uh, uh, special teams coordinators, and and and, and, and lame duck um, defensive coordinators and offensive coordinators. Come on, P. You should have. They should have went. That uh, he uh, and got Eric Ben being to me. That's who they should have hired. That's who they should have hired. Okay, not, the, not, not not some guy that the minute that you start losing, it's like oh man, I my heart, my feet, my soul, I can't do it no more. Like no, bro, no. Like I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry when I'm sorry about when they they give these sorry ass coaches. Yes, you win in college. College and NFL are two different animals right. because you can you can recruit five star recruits every single year. Like you, you're the you're the you're the uh the trail to the NFL. So of course all the NFL players, the the future NFL players are going to go to your your program. It's easy to win in college when you're that coach. So it's easy. For Urban Myers to win in Ohio, it was mm-hmm. easy for him to win in Florida. It was easy for him to win in Utah. But now in the NFL, it's going to be a different a different animal. We see what happened with Herb, with um with Saban when he went to Miami. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, was, no I mean, there's no success guarantee. But if you're talking about someone who can, you know, who has has success building a winning football team, and and, and can translate that program to the NFL because because you you could you you can't just just discount like a lot of assistant coaches who get who all these coaches uh, who are NFL coaches are assistant coaches at some point they get right. these jobs and they suck too so I mean it, you you have to have a balance so some college coaches are gonna get um you know like you know the other uh, Cliff uh, Kingsbury okay. you know in Arizona, Arizona. Yeah. so like a lot of these guys are gonna get chances uh you know I remember when um it was uh uh, Shiano, Shiano coached the um uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers back in the day. Um, you know Greg Shiano from Buccaneers. So like you know a lot. I mean it it it, it comes and goes. So it's, um you know Harbaugh, Harbaugh you know going back and forth. I'm you know from um, you know NFL. But, but Harbaugh, NFL. Did, Harbaugh did a good job, and then he, so I mean, to, um, he put a good so. situation in San Francisco. Right. So I mean, you gotta give them a chance. I mean, I mean, hey, hey, I, I applaud winners. If you can win on one level, why not take it to the next level? Well, why not? Why not? Why not give it a shot? 
You know what I mean? Level, if you a hustler, you trouble. can get it. You can go get it. If he, on, if he, don't be a hater he, like that. If he, if he didn't get in trouble, if he didn't get in trouble, he would have still he'll probably still be in college. He'll probably. You know what I mean? Are you, who are you? Are you perfect? Who are you the judge? I'm out here getting it done. Come on, P. Don't be like that. Don't talk. That's that's some whack shit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, man, but we're gonna keep it pushing, man. Like you know, but you know, I'm 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 really excited to see uh this Buffalo Chiefs game. You know, yeah, a lot going on with uh. I mean, know, do 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 you with think with Mahomes having that concussion? So in in the Buffalo Bills seem kind of hot. They got the momentum. So what you think, man? Because I think it's it's going down. Because because the I, it's really going down. I think um, if any any team could overthrow. Him, the um, chief, I think it is going to be the Bills. Mm. I mean, that Diggs and um, Josh Allen connection, it, it's 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 unstoppable, man. Mm. And the way that um, Diggs is playing with a chip on his shoulder, like there's nobody that can cover him. There's no defense. There's no there's no anything that can cover that boy. That man, he he's on he's on a mission. And then you have your supporting cast that's kind of helping him. Um, kind of, you know, opening up the field for them. And it's, listen, I think that they have a good shot. They have a good shot. The defense, like you said, she kind of showed up um, against the uh, against the Browns. It was actually a good back and forth game. But, um, yeah, like, it's it's really lit, man. Like, it's, it's like this postseason, him and, you know, him and Josh are just balling right now. You yeah. know, between, you know, the first game against the Colts, you know, he went six for 128 in the touchdown. And um yeah. and this week this weekend you know he went eight for you know a buck oh six um in the touchdown. touchdown so yeah, it's and like, I think I think this is the it's, first it's, time it's paying in, dividends right this is the first time in a long time that a Bills receiver went back to back playoff game with a with a touchdown yeah 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 it's factual man like they they're they're that that offense Brian Dabo the offensive coordinator yeah um yeah. is 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 you know he was a formerly with um Alabama Roll Tide he won a championship down there and he went on to you know coach up here. Um, and be the and be the quote unquote quarterback whisperer for for Josh Allen and then um mm. and, you know and Doug McDermott who's doing a, doing a hell of a job up there in Buffalo. But I just like how they built that defense, man. Like you yeah, know, defense. a lot of just lot underrated, of good, scrappy, like just really get after it. You know what I mean, really just meet like take your forces and like give me your like give me your beat yeah, type point. cats. Like so, yeah. so it was it's really it's really like that up there, man. Um, especially with Tremaine. Uh, Tremaine, um, um, you know, Edmonds, you know, man in the middle linebacker position. Uh, because like that boy him. can go side to side, man, and he, like he can really bring the thump. You know I mean so, Bills, Chiefs, they definitely got a chance. I'm probably gonna call it, um, I'm probably gonna call it, you know, mm, oh, you're gonna predict, you're gonna predict, yeah, the I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming with it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go 30 27, 30 27. Who? 30 27 Chiefs. Ooh, close one. 3027 Chiefs. Hmm. I mean, but I mean, I I just want to because that Pat Mahomes, you know, being under the uh, concussion protocol is it, gonna, you know, that's gonna be big, man. That's mm-hmm. gonna be big. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hella big, man. But you know, I'm 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 giving you know with. Right now, um, and I just remember as a player, man, when you know when you're playing well and it's clicking, um, and even if one person you know goes down, the other the other guys can step up, especially especially key guys. If key guys are on 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 the, on the defensive side and also on the skill position side are playing at elite level, um, yeah. it's it makes it just a little bit easier for um, even though it's a tough challenge, but definitely makes the uh, Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy gonna have great opportunities. Uh, to to scheme people open, and I think they're gonna be able to do that because they because because the Bills still gotta respect them because Tyreek Hill would knock Kelsey. your head off, Travis Kelsey yep. will oh knock your God. head off. You know what I mean? Mikhail Hardman will knock oh, your right. head off. Right. You know what I mean? So come on, like it's like, like them guys still got some guys that can really ball, and we're gonna respect it because they are champs. Right, right, and then they got a good special team. That that's one thing. The um 
Because Henny uh, is trash, though. So I'm, huh? I am a little nervous, but Henny is trash, bro. Who? <laughs> Chad Henny, the backup. Yeah, Chad Henny. I mean, I don't know if he gets the whole four yeah. quarters. I mean, because I think the Chad. girls make the adjustment, but he's trash. Yeah, they talking about Henny, we trust, we'll see. Henny, we trust. But, and, uh, and yeah, Henny, we trust. <laughs> you better have a good night. You better have a good night. No if you want, if you want the Henny, you better have something lined up. So, I mean, I don't right, think they, right, I don't right. think they got nothing lined up after this. But, and, and that's another thing that – um. Case, Kansas City special team is is, is pretty mm. good. Can you t- um, tell the people, tell the viewer how important is a special team, especially during the playoff time? Oh man, we saw it yesterday with the uh, New Orleans Saints, man. The kid Deontay Harris, man, just flat out balling. You mean just right. and he got knocked go- out. He got knocked out of the game too. Yeah, when you're going that fast and you hit some and something hits you, it's pretty hard. You know what I mean, you know what I mean, something's yeah. gonna sh- something's gonna shake up. You know what I mean, you're probably not gonna really <laughs> shake out. So you know what I mean, he did get he did he did get clipped. Um, but that's the nature of the game. That's special teams, man. That's the that's the beauty of the grind, and it's definitely a battle. It's a competition, man. But uh, you know, for um, the Chiefs' defense, the special teams, and you know, both units are just playing at an elite level. Um, you know, they're not you know the best of guys, but you know, Frank Clark, um, 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 Jones, um, Jones uh, you know, dope. Matthew, um, you know, uh, uh, Breland. Uh, so like they they got some guys back there that are just making plays, man, and it's super dope, man. Especially Tyron Matthew, man. He's a He's a vet, man. Even coming out of LSU, he's always been a boss, man. So, right. you know, salute to, to the Honey Badger for out there holding it down out there. So it's it's really lit out there. No, but that, that that's the thing. Like the Honey Badger, he he's a game changer. He's been a game changer since um his days in LSU, and um him just being a ball hog and just being around the ball and you know intercepting passes and stuff like that. That in a playoff game could definitely change the momentum, right. and that's why you know. Defense is big during the playoff time and special team because it's like once you get that momentum, you know, just take that 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 soul snatcher taken away from you, and it's like, damn, like how do I how do I rebound from this? You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like that's why defense in the playoff is key. Special team is key, and that, and that's when you see these kickers mix miss these um miss these kicks. Now that now it's it's you know they it's in their psyche now it's against facts. You know what I mean, so because we've seen that against the against the Baltimore game in the Baltimore game, that that hurt them. <laughs> so, P man, you know it did hurt them. It did hurt them, and then it was like, ah, oh. but man, we got a special one. P got the goat, and arguably, this is like LeBron, KD. We got the we got Tom Brady, six time world champion, versus Aaron Rodgers, who's going to be the MVP this season, playing at an oh, elite level. Yeah. Devonte Adams. You know, Matt LaFleur, you know, they out there. You know, Aaron Jones, you know, all Williams, Lazar, them Bro. boys is out there balling. So, what's going on in the frozen? Because because Tampa got to come up got to come up north to the frozen tundra to the and north. get busy. They're going to the north. They're going to the yeah. north. Yeah. They're going to the north. Ah, I don't um. Man, that, that, that's going to be a that's gonna be a tough game, man. Mm. Um, I would, My heart's telling me to go with Brady. Go with Brady and um because you know obviously yeah, yeah, ties you know, to England. You, know, you be predicting to be losing bets, bro. You might want to chill. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Listen, man. You know I mean, eight it, took it was a fix. Th- it was a eight fix, took bro. You for thirty. <laughs> I want my money back, bro. It was a fix. But um, I think uh, I think them boys and 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 them cheese has is playing. Mm. It playing remarkable, man. Devontae, I, I don't think no one can guard him. Right now in the NFL, nobody can guard him. Boy, is nobody filthy. can guard him. He so, was playing the shit out of Ramsey. Rams, Jalen Ramsey was was mad at himself, mad at his team. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere he's right now looking team. at footage. He's looking oh, at footage like, fuck this team. man. He burnt the shit out of him. He, he was cooking him. He was he's cooking him. Like, Monte, I, like I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a believer. And I, and Tay. I, Tay. Best receiver. Tay. Let's see, he's the best receiver right now in the NFL. Um, and I, I think they might, they might pull it off. I think Green Bay might pull it off. Oh, man. So, so then, but yeah, but they're not the underdogs. I mean, I think, um, I just don't trust either. The reason why I'm, I'm leaning towards, well, I'm, I'm going with, I'm going with, I'm going with Aaron Rodgers. Right. But the only. And that Bucks team, that Bucks team, I, I don't have faith in. They, they played well yesterday. I give them that. They played well yesterday. They forced some turnovers. Um, right. They forced some turnovers. They really put the pressure on Breeze, um, but that secondary came to play. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, you know, I was very proud of them boys. Mm-hmm. But 
Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have them winning that game because I thought the defense was going to lose that for them. So I'm glad, I'm glad they came in um, and showed up. Um, but Breeze did look old, so um, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Even though he's about to retire, man. I mean, I don't want to yeah. say that bad about the dude. Hell of a career, man. He battled, man. So he definitely put uh, New Orleans on the map. So yeah, man, I, I salute that that man's greatness. He's, he's definitely all. Yeah, he great. had a good, yeah, a good, good but, career. But, but, but yesterday wasn't his day with the three picks, man. So. Uh, um, it's real, man. So I'm going. I'm going Green Bay, man. Even though, even though Tampa waxed them early in the season, um, they did wax them. They, <laughs> they, they, they straight, they straight start to finish. They put, they beat the brakes off those boys. So it was really yeah. bad. Um, but uh, I think this is a different go around, and I think the, the Green Bay Packers are in a different place. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all the offensive weapons are pretty healthy right now, and, and guys are you know just in, coming into their own, understanding their role, and and and, and then the offensive line is protecting the hell out of Aaron Rodgers. That man had yep, all day, yep, yep, yep. all day to throw yesterday. So and don't forget Jones uh, running the ball. Aaron Jones is a beast. Aaron Jones is a beast, man, and uh, he's about to be a free agent though. But they got a three-headed monster though with Jamal Williams and um, and my yeah. guy, uh, um, uh, my guy yeah, from BC. Uh, yeah, them them boys was toking the rock yesterday. Yeah, so, oh, so they get physical. So they just they just have every level of their offense available to them. I mean, they can go deep. You know, they can they can do you know boot and waggle and get um and play action and get um Aaron Rodgers out on the on the perimeter. Uh, and you got Tay. You know, he's like a walking bucket. He can get you you know a fifty fifty ball oil, or he can take a screen and go and go mm-hmm. sixty. So I mean, they definitely got they definitely got the weapons. And then you got the tight end uh, uh, Robert Tunyon, who's had an amazing yeah. season. He's he's yeah. got ten plus TDs uh, this this season for the protection. The uh, uh, oh, the production and the connection with um, Aaron Rodgers is there, so it's really lit over there. It's going to be cold. That's what I'm thinking about. I was like, yo, is this cold? Going? Yeah. It's going to be in the twenties, like you know, in the teens. So like, is this cold really going? Let me put the buckle on and slow things down up there. I mean, and then it, if it turns to a running game, I don't know. I mean, Bucks may have um, may have a little leverage on that because mm-hmm. you know. You know, you had London Fournette over there that been talking to Rock. Talking you know, to Rizzo, that boy running. He, he, he's running during the playoffs because they they he kept about, him fresh throughout his, the season. He earning his money because uh, right. he's only he's only on one year deal, so he's about to get some paper. Right, right, right. You know, I mean, he kept him fresh during the season, so he's he's talking to Rock. So if it becomes a running game and one of those you know dips and dunk games, I think Brady can pull it off. Mm-hmm. I mean, because he's not he's not a he's not scared of the North because he he he's played up. Oh yeah, he's from the cold. He's right. Big. He's from the cold. He's from the cold. He's solidified. So. He's solidified. We salute the champ. Right, right. But it's gonna ain't no, gonna... Ain't no slam down here. We know. We know what it is. But uh, but he got to show up too, though. But he got to show up too, cause cause he does throw some questionable picks, man. And sometimes you're just wondering, like, what kind of are these throwaways? Or you, I, I get it. You mean you would? I mean, he's you know someone on his stature, and I mean he understands the game. So some of these throws may be like protection throws. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in this spot. If he if my receiver gets it, then nobody gets it. So I, I can get that part. But sometimes, a lot of yeah. these he needs receivers that can make hell, just 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 like wicked ESPN type plays, like the young boy uh, number eighteen did yesterday when yeah, uh, Tom, that him. Tom threw the um on the back shoulder, the homeboy just snagged it with his hands. I was like, oh, okay, young man, I see you. You out here getting money. Um, mm-hmm. so he needs those type of plays, man. I just don't think you know they can go up there and 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 and, and ask those receivers to just you know play all world. I mean, just do your job, like as in like the Bill Belichick way. So he needs to be on top of his game and, and really and really hit the throws that he needs to hit. Because him and Godwin went deep yesterday, um, and and Godwin, I'm saying, Godwin, you know, had to make a dive and um, catch in the end zone, but he couldn't haul it in, and that would have, you know, right. it definitely broke the game open, but it didn't. So he got a hit on right, those. right, right. And that's another thing, Godwin. He, he has a couple of um, he has. His last couple of games, he has a couple of drops, so he has to clean that up. Right, so this is one of those games that both quarterbacks has to play mistake free in order for you know one to win. Right. I mean, because the first the first quarterback to blink is that's the, that's the quarterback that's, that's going to lose his game. Out of bullets, like T. Lee said, right. out of bullets. But right now, I think um, even though even though the Bucks secondary did play well yesterday, and um, you know I definitely salute them. Um, they got to you know that man Jai Alexander. Is out there balling the corner for Green Bay, so he's he's really he's really ho- holding counts accountable out there right. on that island and uh, and bringing the heat. So I mean, Brady's definitely going to be you know t- tested there because uh, yesterday he made the throw um, to, to, to the far side flat, and um, and my guy uh, Lattimore almost took it to the crib. So he got to mm-hmm. be careful. 
you know, mm-hmm. um, especially out there. So it's going to be, it's, and I hope just, I just hope Bruce Arians and, um, and Byron left, which are, they're, they're, they're creating a, you know, an aggressive, not only an aggressive game plan, um, but also one that just makes sense and that, you know, that the, creates balance. Cause yesterday I think they got up to like 20 carries with, uh, um, Fournette and, um, and Aaron Jones, um, and Ronald Jones. So they need to keep the, cause Brady can't go up there and throw it 50 times. No, he can't. You can't, can't ask that man to do that. You can't. Those receivers, you can't do that because they're going to be hitting the ground too. You will feel you're right. going to be hit and hit the ground. So it's a double right. whammy and it's cold. Right. So by the fourth quarter, the Cats is going to be, ah, I don't feel like it. Let's go right now. So. I heard it's going to be brick out there, man. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you better bundle up. You better bundle up. <laughs> you know I mean, freeway style. Yeah. Uh, IP, man. So I know, you know, we definitely want to get into just, just, like you know the culture of of the NFL and and what you think about what's going on in 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 Houston with Deshaun. You know Deshaun's like yo trade trade me because because I'm not I'm not I don't believe in I don't believe in your vision I don't believe I don't believe you have what it takes to to execute you know in terms of building a team a championship team um, an inclusive team I don't think you're I don't think you're ready to win and I don't think this is a good fit so let's part ways um, I have my no trade clause I will either hold out or we, I can waive my no trade clause and you can work with me to get a trade and you can go get some right. draft picks back and, re, and rebuild. But like, I'm not playing another staff for you. So I think it's a respect thing. So like we saw James do it. James Harden, you know, forced his way out of Houston. Nobody wants to be in Houston, bro. Nobody wants to be in Houston. What's going on? I thought it was nice down there. I thought you know I mean? I, real I estate, can't... food, women. I thought, I thought, every, I thought, I thought the, the job, tech. I thought everyone, I thought everyone was lit. Day parties, all, all this good stuff. But it's, yeah. um, it's wild, man. What you think? I mean, I, listen, man, it's all about winning, man. I mean, because he, he sees, um, you know, Pat Mahomes out there winning. Mm-hmm. He sees, um, you know, Lamar, you know, winning MVP. He's an MVP caliber type players. You give away my top receiver. Mm-hmm. You know, I asked, you know, you gave me all this bread, so I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm included in the table. You know what I mean? So we could sit down and talk about the moves in the franchise and the direction that you want this franchise to move. You don't bring in the coach that I that I request. Mm-hmm. What's the point of making me the franchise player? So you paid me all this money to shut up and just throw the football. Mm-hmm. And and that's the thing that and that's and that's the thing with me when it comes to these organizations. Like, what are you doing for these players? Like he's. I mean, he Deshaun, he's been out there balling for you guys. And he's been he's balled this season. He balled out this season in a losing season. You know what I'm saying? And now you expect MVP him to be numbers. Things. Huh? MVP numbers. Come on. MVP numbers in a losing season. And now you expect me to do the same thing next year? No, I gotta protect myself and I and I wanna and I wanna win. Like you played wow. A sport to win. You don't play to lose, man. Right. You don't practice, especially football, D, because you play football. Them practices Monday through Friday or whatever are grueling. And you're not doing it. You're not yeah. practicing Monday through Friday, busting your ass hey, hey, to on. lose a game on Sunday. Hold on. You don't play the you don't play this game to to lose, man. You don't work, you don't bust your ass Monday through Friday to lose on Sunday. I mean, it it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So I, I, I don't fault you know Deshaun you know Watson for for wanting out of Houston because you know he wants to win. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, I, yeah, yeah, he definitely needs to get out of there, man. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, his mind is San Francisco. Um, yeah. um, um, you know, there's definitely a possibility for him to you know K- K- Carolina. You know, maybe you know they make the switch and you know pair him with McCaffrey and DJ Moore. Um, who knows what, uh, you know, the Giants might do. Who knows, you know, Saquon's coming back, you know, if they can package, you know, uh, Jones, maybe they get him out of there. Maybe maybe even uh, uh, um, Arizona okay. flips flips and was like, hey, hey, we'll trade you Murray for Deshaun. You know, that's that's, that's very possible. Um, or We're even – uh, Miami. Uh, yeah, or even trading to us. So, like, there's, there's a few spots where I think folks will be, sh- like, really sh- shake it up. So, it's interesting – to see, especially with these new jobs like Atlanta, like it's interesting to see what they may do um, with Julio, um, or if they're going to trade, you know, Matt Ryan. You know, that would be an interesting, you know, landing spot with you know Hall of Fame and Julio and Deshaun and Calvin Ridley. So I think they can get busy over there. So it's going to be it's going to be a dope off season. I'm I'm interested. 
Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't think he'll end. He, he's he's out of Houston. I don't. I don't see that relationship um, getting fixed anytime soon. I mean, because mm. it's like the guy wants to win. Right. No, he wants to win. And uh, I mean, when, uh, you know, Andre Johnson, you know, who's uh, you know Hall of Fame yeah. receiver, you know, he came out and said, you know, uh, you know, the leadership in the front office ever since one of the executives got there, it was like, you know, he's been him and him and um, Jim O'Brien were just you know, shipping away players and not in and, and shipping away, you know, all the draft capital and just really running this organization into the ground because they don't have any first round picks. I mean, so it's just like, what's going on over there? So like, he said, like, he's like, yo, Deshaun should stand his ground and really get up out of there until they make right, a change. Right. And if the ownership, you know, ain't trying to be inclusive, or well, you know, at least, you know, interview the guys that I suggest that I can I, I can possibly work with and try to win the championship here, then you don't respect me. And I, I, I need to get out of here because I ain't going to waste my time. My right. price is my price. I mean, I know my value. Now, I mean, speak your truth, King. I say, I hear you out here, Deshaun. Get up out of there, fam. Get up out of there and go get your chicken and uh, and chase a championship. Right. Winners, winners want to be around winners. Yeah. Let's go get it. Oh man, so we yo P man, that's that's lit. Uh so right now, you know, with you know, in terms of boxing, man, you know, Javon Javante and King Ryan are out here talking big shit to each other. They out here putting it on wax, like, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you work. You're gonna be like you're gonna get hurt. They both they both gonna challenge each other, calling each other out. Um, and it's lit, and I can't wait. He's I mean, I can't wait because this is gonna pick up to be really lit. I, I just want to I just want to see the fight. I mean, because they could do all the talking they want until they you know they you know they, until they sign the dotted line. I mean, I hope they sign the dotted line because Javante Davis he's one hell of a talent. Ryan Garcia I and mean, we seen I think it was last week or the week before um, him he got knocked out, got back up um, and floored the guy with a body shot. Like Ryan Garcia. He, he was one of he's one of those boxers. He's, he's that, what everyone thought he is. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I thought he was like he's. he's I mean, I thought, I, first, he's I thought he was all hype. hype. I thought he was all hype, but his last couple of fights, you know, I've seen, and I was like, okay, the, the kid can actually box. He's he's really about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that would be a fight that I definitely um, would want to see. And another, and, and your boy Timo, Timo, a lot of talks, you know, this him fighting. Um, Devonnie Haney, De- Devin Haney. It's lit. You know I, mean? I mean, it's necessary. I mean, defend that belt and go get it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I like I like the dog in them. Right? Like right now, boxing is lit. There's a good class of cats that's really getting after it. Um, now, but I, I just hope that they make these fights, though. I mean, because it could be all talk, but you have to make these fights. I think I think the Ryan Javante one is already, I think, booked. I think they booked it and um, it's coming uh, later this year, I think. Latest, so, yeah, we'll so see. It's, it's, it's only popping, man. You know, and I just love, I love, I love when boxing's lit because I mean, it just gives us something to do and brings us together, man. But uh, just to see two guys go like, like go wide is it's, it's super lit, man. And, and, and Pete, we gotta go to the Vegas, man, and go see a fight. Or uh, now we definitely, we definitely Atlantic City, man, we gotta go out there and definitely support and lock in with um, our boxing homies. So, I mean, we're talking boxing. Um, you know, one of the greats just had a birthday, you know, recently. You know, Muhammad yeah, Ali, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, my guy. Like, uh, listen, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, to me, he, he's greatest. my – He's – yes, he's the greatest. He's my favorite athlete of all time. The greatest. And, 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 the, and, the reason, and, and the reason why I say that is because he – when he fought for the people, he fought, you know, for his rights. He fought for, you know, his belief. You know what I mean? And, and he was just – he was bigger than bar. He was bigger than the sport itself, man. Like, yeah. you didn't have to love boxing to know Muhammad Ali. He was real. You know I mean? Like, he was a, a global icon. You know what I mean, and, he was solid. He was solid. And and in the ring, I mean, we we know what he was. You know, if he didn't get if he didn't get the band, like I think he would have went undefeated. Like there was no there was no heavyweight at the time that was going to see this man in his prime. Yeah, what man, I mean. like, you know, he was, uh, dude, I don't, you know, just what he did was just amazing in his career, you know, from, from the age of, what, 19, when the yeah. first, you know, you know, world champion against Sonny Liston, um, Olympic, Olympic gold, cha- you know, medal uh, champion. Um, the man, the man was just one of the greats. He created, you know, he also, he did it with style, 
You know, he didn't do it with much grace because he was, you know, very, he was out there. He was in your face. He was talking his shit. So, 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 so that's why this is, I mean, that's why this is the essence of him in this show, P. I mean, we're going to talk, we're going to talk our shit, man. We're going to live on our own terms. I mean, we're going to bring it to you real raw. And 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 and, and we're just gonna have a message behind it, man. Because we're gonna, I mean, we're definitely doing it for the community. But the man is just, I mean, just what he did in the ring against some of the greats, like, you know, yeah. Frazier, Foreman. Um, it was just, you know, uh, listen, like you listing. said, it was just like, yo. And then and and then to battle, you know, balance that with what he was going on with the Supreme Court. You know I mean, in terms of him, um, you know, not, you know, um, uh, not going into the draft, um. And being taken court and been stripped of his uh his freedom for three years in order to make a living in this country, um, before they made uh, the final ruling, you know, that, that they can't discriminate him. So it was just like he could have really just did something special during his prime. But 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 the the, the what what that what did it for me? He came back and got it. Got it right. He was like, all right, I'm I'm coming back for mines, which y'all took from me, right? Uh, and I want I want interest. He came back and got it, and I, and he was just a champion, man. And that was just the littlest thing ever, man. And I'll never forget just watching the fights with my dad, yo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cause you know, both our both our um, dads were huge on boxing. My pops would always sit down and tell me about, cause I grew up obviously in the Mike Tyson era, so I'm thinking Mike Tyson was mm-hmm. like the greatest. Mike Tyson, Holyfield, yep. Holyfield, and all those guys. I'm thinking that Mike Tyson and Holyfield was like the greatest yeah. heavyweights. That you know, Roy no Jones, kid. De La Hoya. Right. Yeah. And um my pops like, nah, you gotta you gotta watch you gotta, you gotta watch these tapes. Yeah. Sat me down, watch put me to watch some Muhammad Ali. I'm like, yo, who's this flashy guy? And it was just like and he did it amongst, you know, some some real dogs back then. Cause these yeah. was this was when the 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 um heavyweight division was God, was king. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah. was watching that Biggest um world champ. It right. Meant, it meant something. Right, right, right. And um yeah. I mean it was just dope, man, the way he carried himself. He and he made every he made every black man feel proud to be black. You Super know what I mean? Facts. And it was just it was just dope. Super facts, you know what I mean? We matter. We matter, right, Pete. Right. We here. We take up yeah. space. You know what I mean? <laughs> we out here getting it done, we executing. Right. We, I mean, we getting to it. So yeah, P man, um, you know that's super lit, man. We come up, we so we come so far, man. We just thank you, everyone, for locking in with us, man. This is a, this is a labor of love. This is a passion for us. So, uh, thank you for locking in with us, man. And 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 then you know we're gonna move on to our next thing. And P, you already know what time it is, man. W two F the W T F baby. Right, my what the fuck moment? What it is? My what the fuck moment of the week is. Um, I was sitting down, D, watching these uh, NFL coaches be hired. I mean, you know, and I'm looking because we've been talk- we've been raving about him. You know, Eric being to me, and my man is still hasn't been interviewed. I'm like, what's going on? Right, right. And my and my thing is, what the? Right. Why do we have this Rooney pl- um, rule in place just so we can walk in the building and walk out? Right. So what the fuck is going on? Right. Like, what's the point of, like, I, I, I don't understand. We're in 2021. We still can't get a fair shot? Like, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why Eric Benjamin is not one of the hottest, you know, coach, head coach that's not a head coach right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know why his phone is not ringing off the hook. Right. Right. Why didn't the Jaguars throw everything at at, uh, at him like they did Urban Meyer? Right. What is it? What is it? What's up? Like, I don't right. Know. And, it, and this man, <laughs> he's just fresh. But maybe it's not a good fit. And like, and I was talking, I was talking to my brother about that. Maybe it's like a good fit. And you know, sometimes. But there's no they coach say, in Jacksonville. Right. There's no coach in Jacksonville. But like, you know what they say, man? Like, you know, you know, your rejection may be your protection. True. So, so, so maybe, True. so maybe it's in the cause for the God to really flourish in the right situation that that is going to come. I mean, and, and he may be, you know, he may have like a hall of fame um, championship, uh, multiple cha- championship career, you know, that's time for what, but it is, it is definitely frustrating, bro. Cause he's definitely, you know, more than qualified, you know, yeah, he's dogs, and he's a leader of men. So, you know, it's, 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 um, it's unfortunate that, uh, uh, you know, there is, you know, that, that, uh, the historic racist undertone that goes on in, in the NFL. So, 
Um, you know, we'll continue to work on that and advocate for, you know, more, you know, more black and brown coaches, but I also want to shout out in, in that name, Pete, we definitely got to shout out, you know, Robert Sala, um, the new head coach for the Jets. Robert I mean, Sala. He's the first, uh, you know, the first uh, um, man of Muslim faith to uh, be a head coach of, um, right. of an NFL team. So um, shout out to him. Yeah, that, that, that's the only, that was, that's the only hire that I was like, okay, because he, he's, you know, He's coached a good defense these last couple of years. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously with um, with uh, COVID and all the injuries that he had, COVID he had to deal with COVID this year and all the injuries he had to he had to deal with um in the last year. Mm-hmm. But that 49ers defense is they you know they they've been pretty good under his um under his coaching. Yeah, uh, you know he definitely got a vote of conference from uh, Richard Sherman. He said y'all getting a good one, a solid one. So right, right, you know, right, uh, right. You know that God, you know, uh, you know what he does. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a champ. So you know what I'm saying, I'm saying his his word is solid out here, um, in the NFL streets, man. All right, Pete, man. We definitely, you know, you know, as we're gonna wrap up, man. You know, we're gonna definitely leave the people with some, you know, inspirational. So we lit on that end, and and uh, I'm just gonna start us off, man. But uh, you know, this is just a word for, you know, it's a word for everyone. But you know, it's definitely a word for, you know, um, all my brothers out there, man. Stay, stay solid. You know, really. Really execute your word. Stand on your word. Let your your word mean something, man. Uh, leave a legacy, um, and let people know you know how unique and, and, and awesome you are, man. And just give yourself, um, and put yourself out there, and you know really grind and get to it, and um, and just show show everyone you know exactly what you want them to, you know to know, man, and how, how you know how special you are, man. But but definitely, guys, man, we got to stand on our word, man, and we gotta be you know, we gotta be hundred percent solid, man. So that's how we you know, really, uh, you know, raise the next generation of, of, of good men. And, and uh, so, so, so we definitely want to be leaders of men. So let's get out here, stand on our word, and really get to it and be that, you know, uh, positive example. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That was a good one, T. That was definitely a good one. Um, my um, motivation for the, for the night, I want to leave um, the people with, um, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You know what I mean? It's one situation, I mean, when you're striving for greatness, I mean, it's going to be a lot of hurdles. There's going to be a lot of things in your way. But just continue to go, continue to, you know, execute, continue to jump over those hurdles. Because at the end of the day, you're going to achieve greatness, you know. I mean, because it's, it's nothing better to um, achieve something once you go through the grind. Because you can't, you can't cheat the grind and um, you can't. Yeah, you can't don't you can never cheat the grind. You know what I mean? There's always beautiful there's always beauty on the under that struggle, you know what I mean? Because you're not you're not gonna you you're gonna learn to appreciate, you know, your your success, your your greatness, your goals after Excellent. you go through after you go through the adversity. You know what I mean? Because you can't cheat you can't cheat adversity. I mean you can't have cheat to adversity. That's real, Pete. Oh, thank you, man. Um so yeah, man, we're going to leave y'all people with that. You know, thank you for rocking with us. You know, we thank you. You know what I'm saying? We are so grateful for all the support. You know what I mean? This is definitely a mission for us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to definitely, you know, continue to, you know, bring bring the sports content here and, and, and talk about all these relevant issues going on in the sporting community, how it impacts our life. Because, again, you know, we're here because um, sports is our passion. So, yeah, you know, we right. just definitely just want to, you know, continue talking our shit and, you know, leveraging, you know, our love for sports, you know, and we're always going to highlight, you know, everyone's sports journey. So, I mean, if you've got a sports journey, come highlight us, uh, let us know exactly what it's done for you in your life and what it continues to do in your lives and, and in your community. Um, so go follow us on, uh, on, on our IG at Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast. That's IG, uh, Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast. Also on Go subscribe to our YouTube channel, Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast. Our YouTube channel, again, is lit. Our content's up there. We're going to be uploading our videos up, you know, every week up there. So that's where you can check us out, even on um, listen to the podcast in your car and on the train, just wherever you're at, and lock in with us. We're on Anchor. We're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Again, we're on Anchor, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. IG is Talk Your Shit Sports Podcast. And we just thank everyone. For all the yeah. support, man, locking in with us because it's lit. Because uh, you know, this is gonna be this is gonna be a hell of a playoffs as a as a wraps, you know, as a as it wraps down as the NBA moves towards the playoffs. So we got a, a lot of good, you know, uh, content and guests coming. And P man, you know, it's just lit working with you, bro. I salute you, King. I nah, appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Europe, Europe, and that's in uh, and that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We out.